Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Start with the name of Allah who is most beneficial and most merciful My name is Ruha Ghafar from BS Mathematics Role number 23 And this presentation is submitted to Sarzi Shan Yusuf The topics now I will describe in these slides are Microfilm and Microfish And the contents are following the first one is definition second one is introduction and third one is types and then shelf life scanning process advantages and disadvantages the first topic that we will choose to explain is microfilm before discussing the microfilm we must need to know about what is microfilm so i will discuss the definition of microfilm the first one is that microfilm is a film on which printed material are photographed at greatly reduced size for ease of storage. To see these reduced size images, we use a digital lens on the microfilm reader. The digital lens on the microfilm reader enlarges the images, allowing you to read the contents. We use the digital lens on the microfilm because the images on the microfilms are so small that cannot be used to see by the naked eyes. Here are the some pictures of the microfilm. Then we will describe the introduction. In introduction, we in introduction we will describe that who and when invented the microfilm. Microfilm was invented in 1839. Just an interesting fact: we have been using it one to eighty plus years, and the guys who invented it, John Dancer. The John Dancer is also called the father of microphotography. And here is a picture of the microfilm that is first invented by the John Dancer. After knowing the introduction of microfilm, we will discuss the types of microfilms. There are many types of microfilm which can also use for to store small size images and but here we discuss only two types of microfilm. The first one is 16mm microfilm and the second one is 35mm microfilm. The first now I will explain the 16mm microfilm. 16mm microfilm is that it could store in a reel roll or a scroll. The second part is that the film contains A3 and A4 size documents. Here the A3 and A4 size are that size which are used for the papers and the posters. The third one part is that it has capacity to store up to the 2400s in medium sized images. I will also show you some pictures of the 16mm microfilm. First one is this and the second one is this. Then the second type we will describe the microfilm is 35mm microfilm. The first point in stair is it is used to store large size documents shrunk down to 35mm originally from up to A0 in size. Here A0 is also a size used to use for the papers and the poster. And the second one point is that it can store up to the 800 medium documents or 60 large documents. The difference between the 16mm microfilm and the 35mm microfilm is that 16mm microfilm is only used for to store the small size images but 35mm microfilm is also used to store the large documents and the medium documents. And the last point of the 35mm microfilm is that microfilm is 35mm microfilm is normally used to capture large formats such as the newspaper, engineering and the drawing. Also we can also see the by 16 also see the some pictures of the 35mm microfilm. First one is this and second one is this. Now we will describe the microfilm scanning. Microfilm can be converted into a digital images like papers, files, microfilm can be scanned converted into a digital image. The microfilm scanning is very useful for us because it gives us you a digital copy of your documents. And the third point is that 
It provides having a digital copy of your data can be very useful. In this picture, we can see that the microphone can be used to record the management and the convert system. And in the next slide, we will describe the microfilm scanning process that how can microfilm scan the your scan your documents. An optical scanner. An optical scanner is used to capture the microfilm in its raw material. In its raw material means digital formats. First we know about optical scanner. Optical scanner is an input device using light beams to scan and digitally convert images, codes, text or objects as two dimensional digital formats. And the next one is that the digital format images is outputted in desired formats like the JPG which stands for the Giant Photographic Expert Group and then the PDF which stands for the Portable Document Formats and Add etc. And the third one is that an automated optical character recognition is applied for the editing. And the last one is that the new digital files are integrating and indexed in an electronic DMS. Here we can see in these pictures that the many pages are converted into the into the digital formats and in the second pictures we can see the process of the scanning now we can explain the microfilm shelf life before discussing the shelf life we must need to know about what is shelf life a shelf life is the length of the time that something remains useful successful or popular so the microfilm has 500 years of shelf life Microfilm has been a great way to store information because of its longevity. Third point is that it properly store and handle it can even last up to 500 years. It means that if the images or documents can be stored properly, then it can be 500 years its shelf life. And then we can see that the microfilms are stored in this room. And then we will describe the advantages of microfilm. The one of the major advantage of microfilm is that it is reliable. And the second one is that it can always be read with no need for software or hardware upgrades. And the third one is that it breaks less often because it is a thinner film can be used in this in the formation of the microfilm. And the fourth one is that it is compact with far smaller storage codes than paper documents. The something that has advantages also has the disadvantages. So we will describe in this slide the disadvantages of the microfilm. The principal disadvantages of the microfilm is that the image is so small to read with the naked eye. So to read the microfilm images we need a microfilm reader or the machine. And the second one is that microfilm is itself can only be reproduced a limited number of times. And the third one is shelf space is required to maintain efficient or cheap. And the last one is file would have to be retrieved before the name can be read. The last topic of the microfilm is that microfilm is also used in the 21st century because the archive recently acquired a new microfilm machine our reader this is excited news for us and for our patrons the new microfilm reader prints reader permits the user to scan the items on the interest as pdf portable digital formats which may then be attached to an email and delivered electronic this machine also has numerous features for adjusting contrast and brightness, magnifying text, cropping, zooming in a specific part of document and more. Here the picture of the Archives micro film machine which is invented by the Archives. The next topic that I will describe is also a type of storage and that one is microfiche. Similarly, we also describe first the definition of microfiche. The first defined microfiche is microfiche is a cord made up of a transparent film 
used to store the printed information in manager like this microfiche is a transparent card and the second definition of microfiche is that a sheet of microfilm 6 by 4 inches holding several hundred reduced images of document pages read using the microfiche reader in the next slide we will learn that how the images and the documents on the microfiche can be viewed to view to see these images and document we use the microfiche reader to read the card place it under the lens of the microfiche reader machine which magnifies it and we can be able to see these images or the document this is the machine microfiche machine reader which is used to magnify the images and then we also need to know about the introduction of microfiche microfiche was invented in 1961 and who invented the microfiche and this one guys is Carlson an employee of the national cash register company in the Dayton Ohio invented microfiche historically libraries found microfiche very useful to expand their collection while saving space libraries found it very useful because of its work because its storage is very useful for us My now we will describe the types of microfiche the first one is 16 mm microfiche second one is 35 mm microfiche third one is combi microfiche and the last one is com microfiche first one that we will be describe is 16 mm microfiche a 16 mm microfiche is typically used to achieve a3 and the A4 sized documents in a scaled down images. We can see previous that the A3 and the A4 are also the sizes that are used for the paper and posters. And the second point is that the 6 cross 4 inches which can usually store around 94 98 frames of data with documents of A4 size taking up half of the frame. And the third one point is that. The 16 mm refers to the size of the frames of the data. Here, the some pictures of the 16 mm microfiche are that following. The first one is the microfiche 16 mm microfiche reader, and the second one pick is the 16 mm microfiche. And the second type is 35 mm microfiche. A 35 mm microfiche is often used to achieve large engineering plans construction plans for buildings and newspaper here this is the 35 mm microfiche and this is also 35 mm microfiche the second point is this, that this fish is also <coughs> 6 cross 6 cross 4 inches in size like of the 16 mm microfiche meaning that the smaller volume of the 35 mm images in them and the third one type is combi microfiche the first point in the combi microfiche is that it can store both 16 mm and 35 mm microfiche such as the 16 mm microfiche application can be used to a4 planning and the 35 mm is used to corresponding a lot format plans and the second one is these these kinds of fish are used by the construction industries as well as the local authorities here this is the combi microfish the fourth and the last type of microfish is com microfish computer output microfish which you will find 24 axle and 48 axle microfish second one point is that the number represents how many times smaller the documents have been shrunk to. The CM microfiche can store around 270 frames and it is used widely including in the corporate environment to store and archive mainframes or computer generated reports and data and in the manufacturing industry to archive part list, catalogs, reports, payroll, data and more.
like microfilm we can also see the microfish scanning process it also involves the four steps of the scanning the first one is an optical scanner is used to capture the microfish in its raw material that is raw digital raw format first we need to know about what is optical scanner an optical scanner is an input device using light beams to scan and digitally convert images code text or object as 2D digital files and send them to the computer. And then the second point is that the digital images is outputted in desired format like JPG, Joint Photographic Expert Group and PDF, Portable Digital Format and at extra. And the third step is that an automate, automated optical character recognition is applied for editing and the last one is new digital files are integrating and indexed in an electronic dms in the next slide we can see the microfish scanning process in these pictures we can see that first the conventional documents is converted into the professional scanning as a color correction and it can be converted into the additional processing and additional processing text file and text file and ocr and the additional process processing can be converted the, into the image and text bonding which can be into the pdf jpg at etc and the next one is advantages of the microfish the first advantages of the microfish is that information is effortlessly accessed it means that the information by the microfish is very easily accessible and second one is saves times because files can be emailed or faxed directly in a very short time. Third one is that you can easily edit information and then change your layout. And the fourth one is simple backup can be used to protect files in instant of disaster. It means that if your files are deleted we can simply use the simple backup to protect our files. And the last one is that it is economical to operate. Similarly, we also describe the disadvantages of the microfish. The first disadvantage of the microfish is that the sheets can be lost if not properly stored. So we can be careful before after of so we can be careful during storage of our sheets and during storage our document and images. And the second one is that it also cost more than microfilm to produce. This is very expensive. This could result in bad posture with retrieving files. And the last one is that cabinets have to be less compact or documents may be hard to store and recover. And thank you for the watching this presentation.